Morning, Harry. Um, right, here we have my Logitech UE Smart Radio. The battery, as you can see, is disconnected. Um, for ease of doing this, I'm using a uh, hard Ethernet connection, a wired Ethernet connection. Uh, the power is off, the battery is out. Okay, here we are. I'll just set this set the camera up for you. Right, there we go. Right. So I am holding in the plus key. Let's get my thumb out of the way. And switching the power on. Now. Okay. It comes up with the old style Logitech logo and factory settings restored. free your music and choose language, I'm going to choose English welcome to Squeezebox Radio, let's start by getting you connected to your network, continue connect to Ethernet network. Connected to Ethernet. Squeezebox account. So it's asking to connect to my Squeezebox account. That is the default setting. Right, I'm now going to switch the power off. Leave it for a bit. This happens whether the um, the battery is disconnected or not, it makes no difference. If I hold in the rewind button now and put the power on, I get the new style Logitech UE logo. doesn't say free your music um, return to setup choose language English connecting to Ethernet connected to Ethernet. Check firmware updates. It's connecting to uesmartradio.com and it's gone straight into my um, setup. It's called itself Squeezebox Radio. But it's this is the UE Smart Radio menu. Okay, one more time. I'm just going to turn the power off and just switch it on without holding in any buttons. And on. It comes up with the old style Logitech. Factory settings restored. Please wait. And this will be the same routine as the first thing we the first scenario we had with the P 
plus key being held in. Free your music, squeeze box. Choose language. Welcome to Squeeze Box Radio. Connect to Ethernet Network. Squeeze box account. So, as you can see, it's gone into squeeze box mode by default. Okay, I hope you can help me and uh, speak to you later. Bye.